Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. So in today's video, we are going to learn about how we can load the data from a blog storage to the lake house using copy activity in data pipelines. So let's get started. First, log into your Microsoft Fabric account. Then click on the below left hand corner. There you will see data factory. Click on it. So here you can see we have two things. One is data flow and another one is data pipeline. So in this video, we are going to use data pipeline. So click on it. Give name to your data pipeline. Click on create. Once you do that, it will take you to the next window. So here you can see the window of a data pipeline. So here you can build the data pipeline using activities which are provided in the data pipeline. Now I will give you the overview of different activities in data pipeline. So, so as you can see at the top, we have validate so using this you can validate your uh, data pipeline using run you can run it and using schedule you can schedule your data pipeline okay and uh, as well as you can find out your history of a data pipeline like when you have run it and in the copy activity you can move the data from one location to the another location and we are going to use this activity in in this video and this is data flow so i'll explain the data flow in a later video but you can use the already built data flow in your pipeline and notebook notebook is basically you can create your uh, spark jobs and then you can use those jobs through notebook in data pipeline lookup uh, is basically uh, suppose if you have a table or a file uh, in data lake or uh, data warehouse and you want to see the data of uh, that particular table and use as a use that table as a filter or for a join then you can use the lookup invoke pipeline you can uh, uh, run the other pipeline within a pipeline using this activity let's explore other activities as well so here we have get metadata so suppose uh, you have a folder uh, where we have uh, you have multiple files and if you want to know the name of all the files you can use that activity and a script uh, you can write your sql script here and as well as the non sql uh, scripts as well store procedure you can call your uh, t sql procedure set variable suppose if you have created a variable and you can set the value using this if condition it is similar to the other programming language like if uh, a condition is met do that if the condition is not met do that for each so it's it's a loop you can uh, uh, process within your pipeline web activity you can get the data from an api using this and outlook is uh, suppose uh, uh, you have put uh, three or four activities then you are using the email once like all the activities are done then you can send an email like this activity is uh, this pipeline is processed or uh, suppose uh, you want to send the count of uh, the records and so many things you can do with that and we have uh, other activities ex as well i'll explain each and everything in detail in later videos okay now i will discuss how we can load the data from azure Rob storage to lake house using copy activity let me pick the copy activity click on it then click on add to canvas so you can give the name to your copy activity
you can provide the description like i am taking the data from a blob storage to the lake house we have another properties timeout so you can put it to the maximum seven days suppose if i put it as one hour then my data pipeline can run maximum to one hour if it exceed that then it will fail and retry suppose your data pipeline is failing again and again due to some resources which is not available and if you want to make it retry after like uh, one minute 30 second two minutes then you can do that like suppose if i want to retry it three times okay and retry interval uh, you can put 30 second 60 second so it depends upon you then we have secure output and secure input if you click on both the checkbox it means you are not going to provide the information related to the input data as well as the output data in the logging file now click on source as you know we are going to read the data from a azure blob storage click on external so we are going to read the data from a azure blob storage which is provided by the microsoft for sample data so for that we need to create a connection now click on new now click on azure blob storage then click on continue here we need to provide the URL which is provided by the Microsoft. This is the URL which is provided by the Microsoft. Now let me give the name to my connection. Now let's click on create my connection is successfully created let me test it click on test connection perfect here we have file part type which is file path prefix wildcard file path list of files so i'll choose file path why because uh, microsoft has provided the sample data on under a container then under a directory so for that what i need to do i need to provide the container detail as well as my directory detail so let me provide it sample data is a container under which we have directories the directory name from which we need to read the files under this directory we have some folders so we need to read all the folders so for that we need to read the data recursively now let's provide destination detail click on destination so as you know we are going to load the data into our lake house which is in our workspace now let's click on workspace choose lake house then choose your lake house as you know at the source we have some folders and files so we need to choose root folder as files and now you need to provide the file path otherwise your file will be placed at the root directory my directory name will be wwi raw data now let's validate our data pipeline click on validate our pipeline is successfully validated now let's save it click on save our pipeline is successfully saved now let's click on run now click on output to see whether it's running or not as you can see our pipeline is in progress give it one or two minutes our pipeline is successfully completed 
Now let's check the details. So from the source it has read 106 files and it has written 106 files at the destination. Now let's check our lake house. Click on your workspace. Then click on your lake house. Here under the files folder you can see our folder is created. Let's click on it. Under this we have these three folders. Why we have these three folders? Because all the folders were lying at the source. So we have just copied the folders from that particular source to our lake house. Under the table folder, we have the data of few dimensions and few fact tables. And under the incremental folder, we have sales incremental data. And under the full folder, we have data of multiple dimensions and sales fact. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I'm going to use this data to transform it using PySpark.